I crashed for the night outside of the town of Elmo, and was surprised in the morning to find that the parking lot was quite wet. The weather forecasts for the entire week were supposed to be cloudy, partly sunny, with less than 10% precipitation, so I left all of my rain gear and heated gear at home to save room. One of the things I was looking forward to in my ride across coastal Oregon was all of the bridges that they have crossing the various rivers and gullies that go into the ocean. They were all built around the same time in the 50s and 60s and have a style to them that I really appreciate, a form of utilitarian art. You cannot help but notice it as it welcomes you into Oregon at the Astoria Bridge. Incidentally, this is the longest continuous truss bridge in North America. But no matter how much I try to focus on positivity in this amazing ride, this day just had other plans for me. For one, it did not stop raining until well into the afternoon, and I got quite cold. The external microphones on my GoPros kept cutting in and out, until finally the better of my two GoPros ended up just completely dying about mid-span on that Astoria shot. But what really put the cherry on the cake was when I pulled over to a coffee shop to get a little bit of a warm up and discovered that my digital SLR had a broken screen. I have no idea how this happened, but the camera is effectively useless without it as it doesn't have a viewfinder and I'm not able to take any pictures with it here on out. This was a real bummer because a significant amount of my storage space was dedicated to this camera, its lenses, the tripod, and I was planning to do some nighttime photography, which only this camera can do. The clouds hung low with the night tied the nooses. I hung up the phone with a sight, blind confusion. The news hit like truth upon the clueless. Through a fit, trying to make use of the useless. Synonymous to holding the conversation. But as the day continued, the rain stopped, and I got to enjoy a phenomenal ride.
so that last episode sounded like a little bit of a bummer, but uh, rest assured, I'm a couple of days behind in making these things, so uh, I'm now in beautiful, sunny Humboldt, California. The writing's been awesome, and uh, the future episodes should be getting sunnier as time goes on. Uh, today's going to be pretty dang epic. I can't wait to get to it.